Hello, everybody. Hey, Tony. Some of you guys may have recognized this game through the long tracks of the land and how I found it. I found it very interesting and I wanted to play it for myself. Back when Jack Zepke played it, it was just a demo, but the full version came out some time ago. I was good to do it. I was really seeing that make videos on the same time, so I'll do my favorite. Without further ado, let's get into this. <laughs> Boy, I'm excited. I find myself wondering what the world must have been like before the bear crashed into our frail planet, transforming all we once knew into a colorful kaleidoscope of delicious chaos. And I love it. The world was more hospitable, no doubt. More orderly, more sensibly sickening because it sounded boring and I hate being bored. I can't imagine a world without the bear or the storms. Yes, the storms. Beautiful waves of emerald blood cry down from the heavens, promising death in lawless disarray, constantly upsetting the order. I get butterflies in my tummy just thinking about it. Yes. Yes! Speaking of which, Hilarious already. I love it. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it's Horatio, the humble blueberry farmer, loving father, and the most boring creature on the face of this planet. But what's this? Looks like you've got a spicy situation on your hands, hmm? Well, it's been nice knowing you, Horatio. Not really. But now it's time for you to die. Yes, how exciting. Not for you, of course. Hmm. I said Horatio dies. Shut up. I said Horatio dies! Oops! Butterfingers! You asshole! How you say? Naughty boys who don't listen get punished. Asshole. Die. 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 Die.
get buggy. With nothing but a handful of blueberries and a stupid look on his face, Horatio set out to find some shelter, burdened with the realization that none of this would have happened had he listened. And to make matters worse, he's got weak arms, and he's not all that handsome. I don't see what all the fuss is about. But all of this will haunt him until I decide to end his misery. What fun. You're an asshole. That's right, run, little man, you tiny coward! Run for shelter! It's not a trap, trust me. This is definitely. You should go to the roof. There's lots of shelters up there. Comforting shelters. Tons of shelters. Trust me, it's going to be awesome and shelterous. Yep, there's still more stairs. So much shelter. There's like five shelters. Can you dress it up, dog? With your cat. Hey Horatio, look over there. Going up. Ding! Yeah, but someone is in need of help. What's this? A beautiful lady. She looks hungry. Horatio shared his blueberries. No, you shared your berries. How generous of you. Her name was Pipistrella, and though she looked more than capable, she requested Horatio's aid. You see, her castle was raided by grumpy warriors, and she doesn't like that very much. Go on, my little hero. Perhaps this could become a mutually beneficial relationship. Yeah, it's a new cutscene right here. But... Oh no, we demoed that fuck. Back when Jerry just came in, he was immediately he met the Cinderella. At first, he didn't actually enter the castle, but up here, up across the plane. You're too late. You're not the old game, what? I'm sorry for my Oh, the one with the mustache told me you guys are stupid and weak. I don't know why he'd say that. Mm. They actually shut up. Gentlemen, go wreak havoc elsewhere. Oh, uh, sorry, Pip. Are you Great upset?
With her castle in ruins and a very dead daddy, Pipistrella accompanies Captain Worthless. And what a woman. Her optimistic outlook and reckless bravery captivated Horatio. So much, in fact, that he immediately forgot about his son and eh? his home and... Eh, no, you got it. Yes, you did. How did you no, he didn't. Where I okay. see. Horatio gave Pipistrella the remainder of his blueberries, and they headed for the city. The perfect place to recuperate and make plans for Horatio's inevitable failure and death. Plus, there's a pretty good restaurant there that has great beef stew and cornbread. Yes, the city, how it bustles with excitement. Keep your wallet in your front pocket. Don't worry, it gets stolen. You've lost everything, but we can start over. The fight in the peak, we get into gold. Let's try to find another fight to help us out.
They had won the battle. Horatio kissed Joseph on the lips and then stabbed him in the stomach. Now, you really should listen to me, Horatio. How about now? You're over. Hey, you go over there, there, huh? Okay, it in the play online. Ahem! The bomb to the pop play hopper. Hey, snooky pokey, do do and talk. Also, a chance to uh, test out our new equipment because uh, or is you going to need something to bash those helmets in? Uh -huh. Snooky pokey, but shooty do linky winky pinky bong bong. Hello, shit.
just left them. Please send him to your Instagram. You know they look up cake. Yum yum. <laughs> Good. <laughs> 
Thank you for the free That's what did it be. Let's take it out of this. This leaf is the thing here, but if you have to look at your sack, that is not helpful. It's very helpful. Alright, now for real back. We'll be flying at an altitude of who cares, destination unknown. Oh, oh, oh. Damn. Pick stuff the city moves elsewhere. I can say, the city is okay. 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 The city is Very nice, but uh, you got any helmets? Yeah, I don't like those. Yeah. Ooh, but I think I'm gonna stick to the axes and uh, bells. That's what I'm gonna call it today's face video. I'd say that was uh, a good start to the episode. Yeah. I'll be the first thing that you've heard all the story. Through the members. And yeah, I think it's actually awesome. One last thing. Sure. This one day. Yeah. I'll be the first to hear all the story. And, uh, and uh, next time we'll be progressing forward. Happy with that exploration. Thank you for today's video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. Farewell.